Li Jing's not bad, but yeah. The instrument mirror, if I can fight him and like stop him from stacking rage, maybe I can stop him from crashing the wave. I don't know though. Oh, the Chesney. Oh, I'm too far away, brothers. I'm sorry. I'm doing the same thing Trinomir is doing. Don't blame me. You know what I mean? Like, you do a little short trade and you leave. Attack speed isn't really that relevant. Play team. It's starting to get a bit dangerous to fight him here without push, so I'm going to have to push. There's the Q attack speed I was talking about. Yeah, anyway, that's usually your patterns anyway, so taking attack speed in runes is a bit redundant. Damn, here you squeezed in that extra auto. Blood is dizzy. Absolutely fisted. I uh, I kept my passive autos there and stacked them with the super auto. Like, I stacked them into the next Q, and then I just caved his head in with Ignite, because his Q healing obviously gets... 60% reduced due to Ignite, so absolutely power fisted this disgusting Trinomere abuser. Oh, well, really, Trinomere isn't that disgusting, but like the champ's kind of annoying, so I'm calling him a disgusting Trinomere abusing abuser. That's OP, the Trin has to get hit by your Q every time he engages. Well, not really. I mean, yeah, technically, but like, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if he pushes, yeah. If he lets me push, he doesn't. It's the, the fact that he contested push, he shouldn't contest push that hard. And then, like, maybe early game he still loses, but after a few levels he won't lose anymore. I'm pumping for experience on the cannon. I'm not gonna be too annoying about freezing this. I wanna slow push it anyway. I just wanna deny him proxying, that's it. As long as he doesn't proxy, like, I don't mind. This doesn't work, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because it gives me my passive shield. Like, so, it doesn't work to uh, block minion autos, but it gives you your passive shield. So that's why I pressed that be there, because it helps me reduce a little bit of HP anyway. I mean, Trindamir would have shit on- oh, sorry, Graves would have shit on Trindamir there anyway, because he has no sums on Trind. Uh, but it is what it is. Never mind. Anyway. See you know what I mean? Like, if I'm walking into him, it's not a free. But the other way around, it's free. So now it's free, because now he has to walk into me, and then it's easy for me, right? But, yeah. We're chilling. Tread carefully. No need to press Q yet. Once he starts CSing, I'll press Q, and then I'll annihilate him. Uh, Shen's pretty relentless like this if you fuck up. You can just play to freeze and just play to get a massive lead 1v1 instead of uh, uh, playing to help other people. And this is what I learned from Shending Help. Shout out to that homie. It's been a while since I've uh, seen him play. Could be getting lane ganked here, so never use taunt. Just auto attack him to death. Hide until next Q. Very good. And then put the Q behind him again. Same idea. Never use taunt. You, you can't, I can't get ganked right now if I don't use taunt. So I can just slowly whittle him down here. Even though that trade isn't winning, if I don't forward and I get ganked by Kane, is the only way I can lose. All in 1v1, I might not even beat him with little tempo in that taunt anyway, but just saying, like, let's say I do win, even then, it's not a good idea, there's no need. There is no Here I'm looking for a taunt angle, because I can 1v1 most likely if I hit it. And in general, I'm strong enough now that I put him so low that I could even fight Kane now at this HP, which is why I was comfortable looking for that taunt specifically. Anyway, this is why I play Ignite on Chen, because he's a lane bully if you know what you're doing. People say he's too weak early game, but I don't know. You just can't pick him every game and bully everyone, which is like, why? Like, at the same time, like, the whole boycott is cute and all. Like, to me, like, the notion that you can pick a champ like Shen and you can bully every lane in the game is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and that's, like, what people were mad about. And like, to me, that's like, dude, like, you want to play a champ like Chen and bully every champ in the game? That's fucking crazy. Alright, then Blood, fight me. No! He killed me on that spin! I would have beat him 1v1 there. Because I could have uh, blocked him with W, uh, blocked his ultas with W, and then I could have just fucking taunted through him and killed him. Oh, well, I'll take it. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going to ninja top out here because I'm walking a really long distance. So I like grabbing tier 2 shoes when I do this. You'll, if, when I'm winning lane, you'll see me do this a lot. It's like, I'm, I pushed my, my advantage a bit too hard and I ended up getting killed by gank or like one for one or whatever. So I, I like to grab with the movement speed from the respawn, my tier 2 shoes. And I lose way less on this wave than if I didn't buy shoes because obviously I have a lot of MS now. 
And in general, shoes is still good for laning 1v1, you know? It's not uh, bad. Anyway, a bit too greedy on my end there. My bad. Maybe I should have saved my Ignite for the Trinomir there. Maybe I could have W'd more damage. I didn't really anticipate the spin killing me there, so that's my bad. Bit of an experience showing on the Shen here. So push the wave here, and then I'll find a good angle to ult. Obviously, I'm happy to ult as well if the fight looks really good, you know, like a really meaningful ult here, getting securing a double kill, for example. Like, ulting the Silas here, I would never. With the wave position of my wave, I would never ult for this guy. Uh, like, if you get solo killed, I'm not saving you with my channel when I'm winning lane. If I'm losing lane and I'm desperate, I might consider it. But when I'm winning lane like this, having a big-ass slow push, this guy can't touch the wave, can't do shit. Oh, hell no. Figure it out. <clears throat> with balance depths. I know Kane isn't here, so I can taunt him like that. He could try to all, all in me there, and I think it's not illegal. Uh, he could try to all in me there, and it's not legal, but eh. Carefully. Don't think he'll kill me. That's the ideal way to do the EQ there, is like the taunt. Like the Q as you're taunting, and then you drag it into your sword. Like drag him, like taunt him into your sword pole, and then you instantly get the stack, so you get all three. Uh, just needed to pick up thingy. I should be looking for an ult right now. It's like really good for me. Go on then, fucker. Oh, did not use taunt, and I'll annihilate you. You think I will let you live? Okay, I will let you live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please have mercy, Trindamir. Fuck! I, I shouldn't have done that. I was a bit too greedy for no reason there. Getting getting to send him home was enough. I got a bit hypey there. Alright, uh, actually, let's do this into this. Not bad. I'm not gonna go bombies yet, because I'm chilling anyway. I got a bit too cocky there. I thought I would kill him at least, the the, the, the cane. But honestly, I always die there. Trindamir with Ghost will always cave my head in. Either way, it's not the end of the world. Just a bit of an L. I can ult here once because Graves can take over the wave top. It's not good for me, but since Graves can catch all the farm, I wouldn't mind. Because then uh, my Twitch can potentially kill bot lane, plus my Graves gets monster fed off this enormous wave. My bad. I got greedy. Either way, I still have like a 15 CS lead, plus... Uh... <clears> hmm... <throat> I have a jungle coming there, so I'm comfortable making that play because I know jungle is coming behind them, so hard for him to escape like hard for him to escape this play here. Wait, we failed our flush or what? He made more distance or did he have spin? I don't know. Looked sketchy. Ooh, minus one. Anyway, got a flash his ult. Not bad. If he had ghost, he maybe could have called up to me, but I was uh, pretty confident I could fuck with him there. I also spent more money, and he only has Zerkers, so it's not like he does that much damage per auto, you know? I wanted to wait as long as I could, but not too long, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I failed my taunts. That was a kill. My bad. Wing my homies, but that guy's not my homie, because he walked away from me. You don't live there? That sucks. My bad. If I hit the taunt, that could have been plus one. That was a final, because I don't lose anything top. So as much as I don't gain anything... Uh, like, I don't lose much. I lose some farm, but I don't give a shit. Uh, all the farm I lose is advantage I got 1v1, and I think advantage that you get 1v1 is Shen. Making sure that your teammates, like, don't die, and I use, like, large cooldowns. Like, for example, Yonult was used here, and I blocked a Yonult with my ult. Losing advantage that I'm not supposed to have, because my champion isn't uh, supposed to win lane this hard. I don't mind. In terms of him pressuring me, it's impossible. Like, I will never get cracked by him if I don't want to die. If I buy this, I literally am immortal to him for the majority of the game. Hell, I can even buy straight up round wins this game and it's not bad. So yeah, the, like, what, 9 CS are lost? It's not the end of the world. It sucks a bit, but I don't mind. Walk into the tower shot because my shield's about to expire and I want to get value from it. You can look to pressure your opponent a little bit harder there uh, by uh, taunting through him, but against Rindamir it's hard to do if he has Ghost. Even if he ults the hair, I don't think it's winning for him. But, um, like, I would just live after taunting, I think. As long as I cycle my passive there, I think I'll be fine. But, uh, well, if he forgets to press the button, it's definitely winning for me, isn't it? So I 
<clears throat> Very nice. Poor on my ult. Yeah, I think Chen next season will definitely be stronger than this season. He seems to have much nicer toys to play with. Like, the items are just better for him. Tank items are buffed. Like, it's just generally good for him. Alright, peace. Chandra, by the way. I mean, I made a similarly disgusting play when I Tone Flushed into the Tower 1v2 and died, so... Uh, at the end of the day, we are all human. And being human trumps being Challenger, it seems. He's gonna fast push in to try and take a plate here with Demolish, most likely. So I'm just gonna taunt, even with lower HP, because even with this HP, I smash him 1v1. Especially after Warden's Mail, he has no hope. The only thing he can do is proxy me, which you could do... I think you should go Raven this Hydra in this matchup with Strindamere and just proxy me. Right, I guess you can go for crit, but it'll take you a while to scale hard enough to actually beat me. Whereas with Hydra, I don't think it, like, nerfs your scaling that much to the point where, like, you can't have a good time. Can't use taunt right now, because, uh, Trindamere... Plus, Kane might be able to dive me at this point due to their ults being specifically really good at juggling aggro and shit. I'll give him some, some grief here. Yes, hello. These are technically my golems. This is my team's golems, so... I want to hit you a bit here. I'm just gonna buy time here in this fight. 1v2. He has turned the middle, so I'm gonna start kiting here. I don't want him to let him one for one for one me here. Very nicely done by the teammates. But yeah, if, if you have a general idea of how strong you are, Shen, you're actually a very surprisingly strong champion in, in the right matchups. A lot of people have this notion that he's like only farm help team, but nah, you can shit on people in lane. Uh, I'm down. Down the clown. Uh, that's too late, bro. I can't go on that. <laughs> Like, if he dragged me with him, I was down a clown, you know, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, I could base him on top, but just to show you guys, you can lane 1v1 against most champs in the game, down half HP when you have a good matchup on Shen. Like, if you have a good matchup, not most champs, sorry, most good matchups, you can literally be half HP to full HP and you'll beat them. Not all in, but slowly, using your spells wisely. You're pretty strong like that. So, I go. so just to show you guys, I'm going to show you laning phase against Strindamir with half HP. And the concept you apply. So the first thing is, only trade when you uh, have Q shield. So here I'm queuing, shield, hit, shield expires, W, right, W, block, block, block. Q again. I mean, I'm getting a gank here, so I'm obviously forcing a bit harder, but... Yeah. Using my taunt to escape here. Lost to the creep. I'll WQ in three. And then Q into him with shield, so I survive, sidestep this, and we're alive. Very nice. Anyway, you're very strong even on low HP is what you can surmise from that event. Not too bad. Uh, next up will be something that is tanky. I don't know yet. I mean, honestly, Jack Show isn't even bad this game. Your team has destroyed a turret. Hey, anyway, my champs do good this game and they're desperate, so it was a bit too easy. I, w, I, I flashed a bit early. Rakan W to get in range, so I think I could have dodged that, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you. Good night, sweet. Sweet Prince. Press on. Anyone play uh, Season of uh, Thingy, Season of Discovery, or just War of Warcraft in general, like, recently? Because, like, for whatever reason, when I was on Reddit, there was this, um... I walk up to the tower shot because I have my Q, Q shield up. For whatever reason, like, it, it just cracked me up so fucking much. Uh, like, the, like, hunter pets are giga-fucking broken in Season of Discovery. And, like, these Reddit threads about, like, like people role-playing, it, it was too funny to me. Like, it was actually genuinely cracking me the fuck up. It was so fucking funny to me. Like, there was a thread and like people role playing and they were like... This boar called and then like some Chinese call people, like some Chinese name and I was just like, I was cracking up, it was funny. Ah. Uh, yeah, Rakana kind of left out to dry there. I have W for him. I blocked only one Q, but that's sufficient. I have channel for him here, so I'm just gonna prioritize channel him. 
I'm pinging that I'm on my way so he knows he's about to get a pot shield. That's the idea. I didn't decide to step the next Q, but it's hard. I was hoping he would just hit, you know, he was kiting and trying to live, but if he just stuns his ground and hits, it was, it was winnable. The scorpion? Yeah, I don't know. It's like the scorpion and the boar or something of the gorilla. Scorpion gorilla. I don't fucking remember, but like... It was too funny, man. <laughs> Role, like, for some reason, role-playing is like some of the funniest shit in the world to me. Yeah, honestly, I think if I'm playing competitive, I'd slam Jack Show right here because we can't lose, but... Like, if I go Jack Show, I'll be unkillable, basically, and like... I don't really need damage from my items to kill them. I can go Titanic Jack Show, basically, and I think that's better than going any of this because this game i scale into an actual like fighter if i go jack show i think because that covers my mr whereas if i go any of these i have to go into an mr item next and it'll have to be wit's end basically to get the similar effect i have to be like gauntlet into wit's end which i don't think is bad either just i want to get some mr right now because it makes me immortal like i can't die in fights unless i'm like absolutely sending it you know like 1v5 running in Ken looks op yeah I mean, he's pretty strong you know what you're doing I think people just don't like the issue people have with him is that he's not fun when you don't win like when you don't win lane and smash lane champ is absolutely anti-fun and i agree like it's one of the most miserable champions to play when none of your teammates have any like proactivity and all you're doing is like hoping like you're basically ulting like i've been ulting this game like my both my ults have been fucking worthless all three of my ults and it's just like if i wasn't crushing lane i would just be kind of dead weight and i think that's why people complain about chen and I don't blame them, because it's true. The champ is miserable when your team isn't really strong. And you're not winning lane. And it's not to say that it's impossible to win lane. You definitely can. They're just nerfed so much about his lane winning capabilities that if you were someone that enjoyed playing him as a lane bully, you just don't have that anymore like you used to. Yeah, I think Shen is way worse. Like, Sion, you can go mid and create something with your ultimate. Orn can do that. Like, Malphite can do that. Most tanks can create things for their team. This champion can't create shit, bro. You have a taunt flash and that's it. He stayed cool. He got invaded. Stayed cool. Counterplayed. Very nice. I'll play one more, Pocket. That was a short one. The last two were very short, so I'll play one more. The Hallbreaker is also pretty rough for him, yeah. Is Titanic ever good? It's very good. It's just too expensive. Uh, it costs a lot of dollars for an item that really just makes you more of a damage threat when really... Basically, in order to be strong enough to be able to actually pivot into a damage threat as Shen means you have to be fed. Mimi BB, thank you very much for the sub, I appreciate that. That's like the main issue. Just because you can turn into a damage threat doesn't mean it doesn't come with repercussions. Like, you need to actually be strong enough to pull it off and it's just very expensive to do, basically.